In this video, I'll show you how to make a powerful webinar presentation for free. And by the end of this video, you'll know exactly how to plan, design, and present a webinar presentation. I've been delivering webinars for a decade and with hundreds of presentations, live training webinars, sales webinars, and joint venture webinars under my belt, I'm excited to help you prepare your webinar. Stay to the end for my bonus tip where I will share my secret for stunning and professional presentations. You're going to love it. Number one, lock in your purpose. Before you start building your webinar, it's critical that you know the ending. Do you want to create a webinar course, a live training, a TED talk, or sales presentation? Each of these will follow a different structure. With a training webinar, you will be focused on providing training and ending with a homework assignment to make sure that your students can implement the training. With a TED talk, you are trying to go viral and get all that applause. For a sales webinar, the end goal is to drive sales. You may end up watching this video multiple times each time you're designing a new type of webinar. It's worth reviewing these foundational webinar creation steps to ensure that you stay on track. I love using different types of webinars in my business every single month. When I'm planning a new course, I'll prepare a sales webinar to get people excited and sell tickets to the live training. Delivering courses and training via webinars is awesome. You get live interaction with the students and the overall quality of the training improves. If you like learning from live courses where you can ask the presenter questions, make sure to hit the thumbs up button below this video. Once you've decided which type of webinar you will create today, you're ready to move on to step number two, create your outline. Before we jump straight into slide creation, we need to prepare an outline of our webinar. This is the fastest way to get the job done. There are several great ways to create your outlines and you should experiment to find the best method for your brain. For training webinars, I love to use mind maps. I use XMind because it's free and has all the features I need. When I'm creating content, it uses the circular part of my brain, but when I'm writing a sales webinar, I am much more linear. I'm really driving towards the end goal of generating the sale. Sales webinars are a form of copywriting, so I'm much more template driven. I often take an old webinar that worked and simply replace the text of the slides so they maintain the original template's powerful structure. For your first webinar, you can use any outlining or mind mapping program to create your outline. The first question I often hear is, how much information should I put on the slides? I never put whole sentences on my slides, and that becomes a distraction. You want your presentation to feel live, and if you're just reading text off the slides, they will feel distant, and your audience will keep asking if they're watching a recording instead of a live presentation. Your slide should have a header and bullet points. Each bullet point should have exactly as much information as you need to remember what to talk about. If a bullet point is too short, you'll forget what you meant when you're giving the actual live presentation. And that's the worst feeling in the world. I've been there. It might take a little practice to perfect your bullet points. So when you're starting out, it's better to err on the side of too much text rather than too little. Once you have your presentation outline complete, you're ready to move on to step number three, create your presentation in Google Slides. There are quite a few popular presentation tools out there, but Google Slides is the only free one. In the past, I've used Microsoft PowerPoint and Apple Keynote to create and deliver many presentations. They aren't free, so I'm just gonna focus on Google Slides for this video. There's always a trade-off with each choice and while google slides is free it doesn't work if you're offline so you'll need to make sure you have a good internet connection to design your presentation before you can create your presentation you'll need to create a google account if you don't already have one if you do just sign in and you're ready to start there are a few simple templates to choose from so select the style that you like the most we could do a lot of customizing so don't worry about the final template style you can create the exact look you want during this process. Next, convert your outline to slides. Your big numbers from the outline will be your slide titles and the letters will turn into your bullet points. Most people watch videos and even live webinar presentations 
on their phones these days. So you want to keep that in mind with your slide design. My desktop monitor is 27 inches and that's huge compared to the screen on a tablet, let alone a phone. Make sure that you leave as little empty space as possible on your slides. Once I have all the bullet points on a slide, I enlarge them to fill up all of the available space on the slide. While the text might seem huge when it's full screen on your computer, it really helps for people watching a tiny YouTube window or a video on their phone. Once you have all the text on your slides, it's time to add some flourish. Images really make a difference and you'll notice that all of my videos are either live action videos like this one where they have tons of images. In these days of social media and short attention spans, boring slides can cause your viewer's mind to wander. The more interesting your slides, the more attention the viewer will pay. And if you're selling live webinar training, you can charge more with better looking slides. The more professional your presentation, the more valuable your content will be perceived. My favorite place to grab beautiful stock images is 123RF. I've bounced through a few different stock photo options over the years, but I found they can give you the most bang for your buck. And they even have a cool plan that gives you five images a day. If you're on a budget, just download your daily limit and tweak your presentation over time. And if you have no image budget, just use sites that give you access to photos with Creative Commons licenses. Now that you have your presentation built, well, it's time to share it with the world. Step four, choose your webinar delivery platform. There are many ways you can deliver live content to the world. You have loads of social media options ranging from Facebook Live to YouTube Live. However, those are usually different from a webinar. With many webinars, the audience never sees your face. Webinars usually your voice combined with slides. There may come a point where the technology merges, but for now, there are better dedicated webinar solutions out there. The best place to start is with Google Hangouts. Super easy to pull in your presentation since slides is part of the Google ecosystem. The best reason to start there is price. Hangouts are free. When you have a small audience, you don't need all the bells and whistles. Sure, there are expensive webinar providers out there that can handle hundreds or even thousands of live attendees. But until you can actually put that many people onto a live call, you don't need to worry about it. I've used many of the most well-known solutions out there from GoToWebinar to Webinar Jam to Stealth Seminar. While each of them has its pros and cons, I recommend starting out with low cost solutions. For most of my presentations, I currently use a service called Zoom. They're awesome for smaller audiences, have killer built-in recording technology, and I've yet to experience a glitch on their platform. Best of all, basic plan is just 15 bucks a month. Most other webinar providers are a significant multiple of that. I want all of your profit from your sales webinars and presentations to stay in your pocket rather than going to the software solution that you're using. In the future, I'll record review and walkthrough videos of the other webinar providers out there. And if you would like me to do that, please make sure to hit the thumbs up button right below this video. Those likes and upvotes help me know which content you want more of. Once you've set up your Google Hangouts account, you're ready to go live. And that brings us to step number five, get ready to go live. My first webinar well, it was a disaster and so was my second. I started out with webinars way back in the ancient history of the internet, 2010. Back in the stone age, there were loads of glitches and many people had internet connections. They couldn't handle video and audio at the same time. Half of my audience would call into webinars on their phones and not even be able to see the slides of the presentation. The best practice when I started was to have the simplest slides possible, black text on a white background. This would limit how much bandwidth your video would use and more people would be able to actually see the slides, even if there was dry as dust. You don't have to worry about that anymore. Now, everyone has fast internet, even on their phones or in elevators. The most important thing is to get a feel for giving a presentation live online. I have dabbled in almost every type of online medium, from podcasts to these YouTube videos to videos for my Facebook group, The Tribe, and Facebook Lives. 
one of the things I found is that each type of presentation feels different. I get nervous in a different way each time I turn on the microphone or flip that live switch. The first time you go live, there is a good chance that something will go wrong. You will hit the wrong button or forget where an option is. And that's okay. That's exactly why your first presentation will be a practice session with a friend. If you're going to use polls and audience interaction with a large audience, include them in your practice sessions. There are so many little issues that you won't even think of until your live practice session, such as the lighting in your room and the background behind you, camera positioning and microphones picking up background noise. A live practice will help you work out the kinks and overcome those stomach butterflies. Now you're ready. You've got everything put together and it's time for you to go live. Bonus tip, create beautiful presentations. I always invest a little money in my presentations and my secret weapon is called Graphic River. They are an awesome platform where you can purchase and download presentation templates. There are hundreds of options for PowerPoint, Keynote, and Google Slides. In the past, I've been hired to design presentations for people simply because they loved the quality of my presentations. And they all start with awesome templates. Using a template from Graphic River will save you a ton of time designing and beautifying your next webinar presentation. I'm so glad to spend time with you today. Webinars are just another form of sales copy, and I would love to teach you more about writing flawless sales letters and webinars with my special gift for you, the ultimate swipe file. Head over to servedmaster.com front slash ultimate right now to grab your free copy and make sure to share your webinar experiences in the comments below this video. Let me know how that first webinar goes. And if you have a tip from your own experience, make sure to share it down there too.